the, I mean, the country, Nigeria is considered as the most uh, populous uh, uh, country in Africa. It's, uh, it's the, uh, it's, 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 uh, the, uh, it's the, they call it the, the giant of, uh, of uh, Africa. So we go by the 1963 census, the figure was put at uh, 55 per million. And uh, 1991, the figure was uh, 85 per million. But uh, today, the figure is uh, over 185 uh, million uh, Nigeria. And that is uh, put together more than uh, the population of uh, several countries put together in, uh, in Africa. Then uh, climatic uh, condition. Nigeria is uh, favored with uh, different uh, climatic uh, uh, conditions. Uh, in the north, you have the uh, the region, you have the, I mean, the, the south, uh, south, southern part, you have the uh, uh, river Rhine area where people engage in different uh, water related uh, uh, activities. And uh, you have uh, in the south, in the south, in the western part of uh, the country and the eastern uh, area, you have uh, the, uh, the, 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 the forest region. Uh, and then this uh, gives uh, room to different uh, uh, activities taking place uh, in the different parts of the, of the country. And even the weather uh, varies from, um, I mean, place to place. Uh, uh, I mean, between the north, the, uh, the south, south, the southeast, and the, I mean, the southwest are different uh, points uh, in, in time. So we located in, and that, I uh, mean, uh, help in the types and uh, different types of uh, uh, agricultural products that uh, we I mean, have in the country. Uh, in the past, it used to the Nigeria used to be to be proud of uh, the uh, granite in the north. Uh, when they talk about uh, the pyramid of uh, uh, granite in the in, in the north, you know, they talk about uh, cocoa in the in the southwest, and then uh, palm oil in the. Uh, in the south and east. So this diversity um, uh, helps Nigeria to uh, to work stronger, and uh, we shall make them to I mean to to be I mean uh, competitively develop under the uh, regional uh, government. Um, sorry, something is wrong. <laughs> Ethnic, uh, sorry, I need to. Diversity. Uh -huh. Ethnic diversity. The, the country, like I said, has many uh, ethnic uh, groups, people of different uh, culture, different culture, different background, different practices, people coming to, I mean, uh, relating in their own, uh, in their own way. Uh, this uh, is a, it's, a, it's an advantage for the uh, for the country because uh, you have uh, what I mean uh, uh, when you look at a culture, culture is uh, responding to um, the environment, try to solve uh, people's uh, uh, I mean, uh, needs in the environment, and therefore this uh, brings about uh, the uh, the opportunity uh, for the. Uh, for the people of Nigeria to have uh, access to different uh, of uh, things that uh, could have been, uh, I mean, uh, import, I mean, importing uh, these things uh, from outside the country, but uh, because of the diversity of, uh, imagine uh, in the west, the southwest is a country, the southeast is a country, the north is a country, it would have been high having a cross-border interaction uh, with uh, an engagement with visa and uh, custom uh, uh, I mean, uh, But because we are within the same country, the movement of uh, uh, goods and services is uh, easier. And cultural uh, interaction uh, is uh, easier. Hello, sir. Uh, yes, I want sir. to call your attention to something, sir. What? What is that? What is that? Hello? Please, sir. Continue, sir. Please, sir. Continue, sir. Somebody say wants to draw my attention to something. Okay. Do I continue? 
Continue, sir. Uh, continue, so, sir. The, the, <laughs> the mic is up. I will hear you clearly, sir. So, oh, I want maybe. to tell you that you can, everyone, sir. You can mute everyone. So continue, that we can sir. Continue. Can, okay, continue, okay, sir. Okay, okay. Uh, let me see. Commute everyone. Yes, sir. Okay. Well. Okay. Thank you. So, imagine we have to be dealing with uh, visa border issues uh, uh, between the Northeast, the Southwest, and the uh, that will have created uh, some problems in terms of uh, interaction. But because of the diversity of the ethnic uh, groups, you hardly find any ethnic group uh, in Nigeria without uh, uh, um, a mix of uh, some other ethnic uh, uh, group. Now you talk about uh, 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 upper of uh, Yoruba in the in Bono. You talk about uh, the uh, uh, I mean the Ima. I mean see the Ima now of uh, in in I mean in uh, in the southwest in the southeast. You have uh, the uh, Indigo uh, in the in the in Yoruba land. So this, this uh, I mean how this bring together a cultural uh, uh, interaction uh, among the among the people. Then uh, religious wise, Nigeria is uh, blessed with a uh, diversity of, uh, I mean, diverse religions. Uh, you have the Christianity, you have uh, Islam, you have a uh, traditional uh, religion and other believers uh, in other uh, uh, things that they, they, they worship. And the strength of this is because uh, they, they provide uh, different uh, opportunities of uh, life. For instance, uh, you have uh, missionary schools in different uh, uh, parts of the country, and each, uh, each, uh, each religion is, uh, I mean, engaging in education, uh, one education or the, or the other. Even some uh, go to the extent of uh, finding uh, 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 hospitals for the, I mean, for their, for their adherence. So, the, I mean, the religious diversity is uh, uh, brings about uh, a competition in terms of uh, making uh, services uh, available to their people, which is a, a, a plus. Then, what are the challenges? What are the problems? The same thing that has uh, contributed to the development uh, also can be seen as a as uh, issues in the um, uh, in the development of uh, the country. For instance, uh, you have ethnicity. Um, in the recent uh, time now, we know that the uh, country is, uh, is facing challenges in this uh, area where you have people uh, talking, I mean, uh, I mean being uh, uh, not happy uh, with uh, what uh, this of uh, these, uh, the things across uh, the, the land. Uh, but uh, when you look at even the issue of ethnicity, you look at it, you understand that it's a, what we are facing presently is a, is a peculiar issue and uh, that, that uh, is a, is a contextually, can be contextually understood within the, within the uh, uh, frustration uh, being experienced by the, uh, by the, by, by the people. And so you, you, in a situation where people get uh, frustrated, you see, you see people uh, resorting to their, uh, I mean, to their people because they just like we, like I said, the focus of uh, our analysis, our explanation in this course is uh, ethnicity. When people have problem, uh, the the next thing is to return back to their to their people and to, I mean, to find explanation to their situation and uh, a way out uh, among their their people. Probably. That is why we, I mean, we, are, we are having uh, what we are, the station we are experiencing uh, uh, today, but not necessarily because the people uh, are of a different uh, cultural ethnic group but, per se, but because of the uh, situation that is, uh, um, is, uh, facing, uh, is facing us. So, uh, and that uh, so to a larger extent uh, makes ethnicity to look as if it's a negative. Uh, kind of a thing. The same thing with uh, with religion, because uh, um, according to according to 
uh, Karl Marx is that uh, religion is the opium of uh, the uh, people. When the ships are down, people resort to uh, religion, the explanation to, I mean, of uh, what is happening to death, to uh, religion. And people, I mean, they therefore try to defend their faith to, I mean, uh, large extent as, as much as they, they, they can. Uh, not really because of uh, the, uh, uh, I mean, the faith itself, but because of who, the, I mean, group of who they are. People, because in below, I mean, in a group, people think, I mean, know that uh, they can really, I mean, get a succor than being an individual. And people go back to the different groups they belong to. And so religion is one of the groups that uh, people can really easily return to in the face of uh, uh, frustration and uh, confusion. Uh, military intervention has uh, caused uh, more harm than uh, good in Nigeria. For instance, we are still battling with uh, the 1999 constitution, which uh, many people consider to be the uh, basis of our problem it, um, because the military created the, um, the constitution. They didn't um, take it for referendum. They didn't go through the people for approval to say they want, I mean, they agree, they do not agree. So it's like a force on people. And then uh, today, everybody is, uh, I mean, is suffering from, from it. And uh, right from even the, um, the military took over in, I mean, uh, uh, in the first uh, republic, Nigeria has not uh, remained the same. Um, the military, the, the, police, the democratic culture uh, has not really uh, developed because the military has uh, spent more time than uh, uh, I mean, in the history of uh, the, the Nigerian nationhood than uh, what the country would have uh, used to uh, uh, develop and advance its, uh, um, its, uh, I mean, its uh, I mean, democratic. Uh, culture. So uh, the, the military created uh, many cultural practices that uh, um, today are haunting the, uh, the people um, as, I mean, as uh, per what they're supposed to, um, to be doing and against what they uh, are doing. Uh, bad governance. Uh, well, this is uh, not, uh, this is a very common, uh, when you when you have uh, the government that cannot uh, secure your, uh, I mean, the people cannot uh, provide basic necessities of life, and uh, uh, the, I mean, is, is I mean, because the, the basic uh, uh, responsibility of the government is uh, to pro I mean, protection of uh, life and property, and to pro to provide the uh, basic necessity of life for the the people. This is one of the major issues that uh, is facing Nigeria today, and uh, with that, uh, people. Uh, development becomes uh, difficult. You have more people now resorting to uh, different uh, kinds of uh, solution to, I mean, to make uh, hence and meet, which are uh, supposed not to be. So corruption is a uh, is a problem, and we have seen how the government has been responding to to to, to it through the establishment of uh, the um, the uh, ICPC and the EFCC, uh, meaning that the government itself. Recognizes uh, the, uh, the the effects of uh, corruption to national development. Uh, and, uh, we know how this has hindered because corruption was one of the uh, major issue mentioned by the, uh, uh, the the five majors who uh, implemented the first uh, coup. But at this today, we are still talking about uh, corruption. Meaning that uh, corruption, I mean, has really uh, hindered the development. Civil war, we went into civil war uh, between 1967 and 1970, uh, 1970 uh, which many people eventually uh, tried to term as a uh, unnecessary uh, war that uh, Nigeria fought because it didn't uh, bring uh, any uh, positive uh, uh, advantage, even though it had its own uh, um, uh, role, but to a large extent, it, uh, it has not, uh, it, it has it's not set back. Uh, what we always set back uh, any uh, nation or people, uh, because at the end of the day, you still come back to this uh, joint table to discuss the issues. Why then go to work in the first uh, instance? Uh, oil economy. Uh, Nigeria is the is one of the uh, largest producer of uh, oil uh, in Africa and the, the world. But to a large extent, we are dependent on the oil as uh, taking us away from agriculture and from uh, other uh, economic uh, 
uh, activities that could have uh, made uh, more life more uh, easier within the country. So now 